we are going to consider the function ft is equal to the following, which is a family of solutions for the differential equation that we're given in the middle. We want to find a solution to the differential equation which satisfies our initial conditions. So we are going to use a few things. First off, what I'm going to do is start off with our ft, and we're going to use our y0 and y0 to find some things that we can use to plug in to our original function. First, let's start off with f of zero. So this is going to be equal to one, and this itself is gonna be equal to, if we plug in zero for our exponents, we know e or anything to zero is gonna give us one. So this is just gonna be equal to c1 plus c2, and then we'll have a minus, and then the same thing with these, just one over 10, minus one over six plus one over 12. So now we can do the same thing, but taking the first derivative because of our y not zero. So f of y not zero or f not zero is gonna be equal to three, which is equal to. And now before we plug anything in, I wanna take the derivative first. So this is gonna give us a negative four and then we'll have c1 e negative 4t plus, and then we'll have 3 c2 e and 3t, and then we'll have a minus 1 over 10, this is still e t, and then minus, now the 2 is going to come out, so that's going to give us a 1 over 3, and then e 2t, and then this is just going to become 0, the 1 over 12. So now let's plug in our values. So this 3 is really going to be equal to, and we're plugging in zero still, so not too much is changing. We're gonna have negative four C1, and then plus three C2, minus one over 10, minus one over three. So these things are what we're going to have to look at. And now I'm going to simplify them and move all of the C's onto one side. So we'll do that right now. And if we simplify it, we're gonna get something like the following. Now we just want to solve for our C1 and C2. So I'm gonna multiply this by four and you know what to do from here. Then that's gonna give us a C2 of seven over six. Now let's take this and plug it back into here with some rainbow magic. And that's gonna give us a C1 of one over 60. So now that we have our two values, all we need to do is plug them back into our function. So we're not really doing anything with the middle part right here. This is kind of step one, and now let's go to step two, where we plug in for f of t. And f of t is gonna now be equal to, we'll just have a e negative four t over 60 plus a seven times our e three t over six, and then minus one over 10 e t minus one over six e two t plus one over 12. And that will be your answer and how you would go about solving any problem that looks like this. I hope it helped.